Living off grid power is our number one priority and we've learned that the more options we've got the better. We live fully off grid in a woodland where we use solar power for the vast majority of our power needs as well as a generator for top up when needed. We also use power packs to store spare energy ready for those rainy days. Anchor have sent us their 767 for us to try out. It's worth noting that this isn't a tech review. Instead, we'll be sharing how we use the Anchor 767 in real life situations as part of our off-grid life. Over the weekend, we have put it through three different challenges and here's how it got on. Thank you, Anchor, for sponsoring this video. So today we're right at the top of our woodland and we're gonna be taking some trees out which are right next to our beehives, which is why we've decided to use the electric saw to keep the noise down. Because we're using the electric saws, we've brought the Anchor 767 out with us and we're going to be using it to rotate through batteries and charge batteries as we go. We've got quite a few trees to take out today. The batteries aren't going to last the whole day and we're hoping it's going to be really handy to charge them here rather than having to go the whole length of the woodland to keep running them back to the house. So looking forward to seeing how it gets on today. But before we get started, Fraser's putting a saw together. Nice bag, Fraser. Yeah, what's going on there? What was that there? I'm not actually allowed to use mine. <laughs> Cue Fraser in the big saw. This isn't a big saw. One of these is a newer battery that came with it. One of these is an older battery that we already had. This one is saying it's got three lights on and this one's saying it's got two lights on it. So we're down one light on the older battery. We only just got started. That's why you need to continually recharge. Bees are still sleeping at the moment. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Let's run out. How to swap. So this comes with a dependable battery that does 3,000 cycles, five year warranty, 10 year lifespan. The smaller versions of this machine, 521, 535, 555 and 757. Showing 92% left in the anchor and these are fully charged. So wow, we can charge a lot of batteries up. At that rate, that's crazy. Right, so this could be fairly interesting. We're gonna see if this can weld. They sort of boast on an advert that it does weld. And I've got a MIG welder there that's uh, gasless. So this thing is gonna be a big ask for it, really. Now, we've tested this before, and this thing, up on a high setting, chucked out, sort of used about 2,300 watts. So that's been tested before on our other system. This will be turned down a bit to start with. It welds. My uh, my welder needs a bit of tweaking, but unbelievable. Didn't even drop a percent. I know I hardly did anything, but it's pretty incredible. Just turn it up a little bit. Another handy feature of the Anchor 767 is that it can connect to your phone via Bluetooth. This means you can control it using the Anchor app. And whilst we didn't use this during these challenges, it's something we've installed since and plan to use in the future. So now we're going to have it run in our house. We'll see how that goes. I'll have it up here. In our house we've got a fridge. We've got a incubator for eggs which is on so you know it's got to be reliable this and we've got a radiator uh, electric radiator in in the room 
to keep everything at temperature for this uh, incubation of these eggs and obviously we've got lights and TV and all the other things that people have in their home minus washing machine, tumble dryer and freezers that is. Um, we haven't got an electric kettle, uh, not this time of year. 421 watts, 423. So yeah, that's running our house. Uh, it's saying at that sort of rate, it's gonna last 1.7 hours. So all in all, we've been really pleased with how the Anchor 767 has got on and we've been really impressed. There's lots of strengths that we could list. One in particular is the quality of the build. We're really impressed with the quality of materials that are used. It feels really sturdy when we're using it. We've dragged it across bumpy terrain. We have put it on the back of the truck. At no point have we thought, oh, we're not sure that this can take this. Secondly, considering how much power you get from it, we find it really portable. We have been able to move it around, lift it onto the back of the truck, drag it along, and that's been great. So it's really practical for those locations where you haven't got access to the grid and you can get it from A to B pretty easily. And we think that the Anchor 767 is great value for money. It certainly is very competitive with other products on the market and seems to give a lot more for the money that you spend compared to other um, similar products. So based on what we've seen this weekend, we would definitely recommend it and we'll certainly be using it as part of our off-grid setup. So thank you Anchor for sending it to us and um, we look forward to using it for years to come. If you think you might be interested in the Anchor 767, then check out the link in our description below.